Brighton is a tremendous future here on the Front Range in Colorado. And it's a great place to bring your family, raise your family, live, work, and play. A growing town while still preserving the small town character that you all know and love. With growth comes those changes. We have great amenities, um, but we also have more people as well, so we just need to balance that. We want to make sure that uh, we do that in an intelligent way and can handle um, all that growth brings with it. If you don't have a plan, then you plan to fail. We need to have a clear and concise direction that's based on what the citizens want. The uh, city employees, the staff, uh, the city manager has to have a pretty clear direction from council. With a strategic plan, we can better maybe identify first, second, third, whatever we need to be addressing. All those things are, are components of a, uh, what I believe is a successful city. It means that we do everything that we can do to take care of our residents and especially being transparent. The City Council recap that just launched this year, we broadcast every City Council meeting and study session. We want to make sure that we create a community that is safe, sustainable, and it's going to have a long-term lasting impact for you. What we value is doing things in a new way, meeting all of those needs in, in a way that is creative. We have families that are choosing Brighton just now to make it their home, and there's just a collision there of ideas and what, what should and shouldn't be. So the innovation, I think, sometimes comes to us from folks who are new to the area. And we invite the innovation of the children and of the other adults to bring ideas to us so that we can innovate and grow. I know change is always going to happen and be there but I just want to be doing it in the most responsible way. The most important goal that I have is to come to collective goals with with the council and be clear about what it is that is either our North Star or our constellation of stars what's most important that we should be chasing as a city. There are so many projects that we as a city have dreamed about that are now going to become reality. We have a new water treatment plant that will come online in the next couple years. We have road projects that will make our community connect better. We must invite reasonable development to the city. Business, industry, jobs, educational opportunities, and at the same time hold the developers feet to the fire as far as infrastructure, roads, transportation, and with all of those things combined I think we'll have a wonderful future. I do have some goals. Um, I mean, I've, I've accomplished several of them, but I still have things out there that I want to get done, and you're going to have to probably wait and see what some of my surprises are going to be. But I, I just feel there's been wrongs done that need to be righted. Brighton is a destination. We have great restaurants. We have great theater. We have great arts programs. We have tremendous parks and recreation facilities and baseball tournaments and, and all kinds of things that draw people into this community. Preserve our history because that's important. We have to remember where we came from. And of course, again, the water treatment plant, very proud that that's happening um, during my, my stay on city council because it's going to be huge for the city in the long run. With the city, we're going to have growth. Um, and I think that, that goes without saying. So we want to make sure we can handle that and our, our people have the ability to do that as best as possible. As Brighton moves into the future, my goal for this city is to keep bringing you more and more amenities. Let's preserve the character of downtown, but let's grow the shopping and Burry Center. Let's give you things to do so you don't have to leave town.